Dallas News Station. This is Cron 4 News Weekend. And then our buddy Compass is coming to join us. Oh, and he's bringing Beverly Ulrich. She's, of course, the animal behaviorist who keeps him in line. She's here to talk about training rescue pets. Now, a unique group in San Francisco scours the streets to find the homeless and their dogs. The Pooch Coach joins us in studio, tells us all about the program's holiday event, and introduces us to a rescue dog you may want to adopt. You know, think about this. A lot of homeless on the street get by because they have a trusty friend. They have an animal with them to take care of them. But then who takes care of the animals? You know, there's an excellent, wonderful group out there that goes and, and gives these great little clinics for those dogs of the homeless. And we're going to talk about that. And joining us to do so is our favorite pooch coach, uh, uh, Beverly Ulbrich. And, of course, we have uh, Compass back. I always enjoy having a visit with Compass. She's yeah. such a good... He... She. She. What? <laughs> she's such a good dog. She plays he all the time <laughs> when he plays roles, so she's used to it. So tell us about this uh, unique group that you're working with. Yeah, I work with a group called Vet SOS. Okay. And what they did, they actually started with uh, SOS, which is Street Outreach Services. Uh -huh. They actually go around and help the homeless people with medical problems. Right. There's doctors and nurses that volunteer. Well, that was back in the late, late 80s. And mm -hmm. then in 2001, they decided to form a group. Alana Struble, who's actually a friend of mine, uh, is a vet. They started home, uh, this uh, vet SOS group. And what they do is they go around and help the dogs and the cats and stuff because they need, you know, spay and neutering. They need rabies shots and parvo to make sure diseases aren't spreading. And then they just have basic medical needs for their dogs. Right. So we're, uh, they, they started doing this. They take a van around about once or twice a month and, and go, you know, around to the, all the homeless camps and things and help the dogs. I also um, work with, the, with them as a behaviorist and help with their, their dog problems really? when there's behavior problems. So yeah. that really suggests there are quite a few animals out there with oh, the tons. homeless? In fact, the other thing we do is Project Homeless Connect is a bi-monthly event that we help to, that, that the city puts on to help all the homeless people. Mm -hmm. And they come down usually to the Civic Auditorium. What happens there is Vet SOS sets up out front and does, they even have a spay and neutering van set up. The SBCA will take the dogs off and neuter them and bring them back at the end of the day. Um, or they will also actually help the dogs, give them vaccines and things like that at, right there on the location. We are outside, myself and Pets Unlimited, mm -hmm. another group I've brought in before and you're familiar with. We, um, we actually have to babysit the dogs. Because, see, the people have to go in for their services. Right. They can't bring their pets. So uh -huh. we have a little doggy sitting place outside, uh -huh. a little area, <laughs> up to 12 dogs sometimes. So I'm there to make sure they all get along. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, well, my that's job. great. What a lovely service. That's yeah. great. So they're having a fundraiser. Hello there, guys. <laughs> We're going to talk to you later. <laughs> Doesn't want to be ignored. Uh, they have a, a fundraiser coming up? Yes, and on Thanksgiving, they're going to be doing a, uh, an annual event in the, in the Golden Gate Park where they get together with the homeless people. They give them food and, and picnic supplies for Thanksgiving, and they're also going to be there on hand with their Veto SOS ba van to help with the, the homeless people's pets if they okay. bring them. And the other thing that's very interesting is there's some students from the College of uh, the uni University of, of Notre Dame in Belmont, and the students, the psychology students and sociology students, actually come help deliver the food and talk to the homeless people and oh, get wow. to know them and see their personal stories and plights and, and get to really see one-on-one -on -one what happens on the streets for them. Well, that's a great service. Yeah. Um, how wonderful, both for the animal and for the owner, right? Right, exactly. So let's talk about Sissy, who's uh, jumping up and trying to get in on the action. Yeah. Where, where, Sissy's a rescue jo a dog? Right. Sissy is from um, Grateful Dog Rescue. Do you and need me to take Compass? Uh, sh well, actually, I was going to show you okay. Compass first. Okay. I'm going to show, show the command I'm going to teach on Compass first, okay. and then we'll show Sissy. Okay. Um, she's from Grateful Dog Rescue, and she is what we think is an Australian Kelpie, about a year old. And uh, she came from the uh, a shelter up north. We, they usually rescue from ACC. Uh -huh. They actually started working with San Francisco Animal Care and Control. It was one of the very first volunteers mm -hmm. that used to walk the dogs there. Actually started Grateful Dog Rescue, realizing they could save a little more dogs if they could pull them out of the shelters when th their time was up, so to speak. Okay. So they did that, with, and that organization was formed in 96. And now it's run by a handful of volunteers, and they have about four, any given time about 40 dogs, 40, and they also have foster homes to keep these dogs. They need help with foster homes, so if you can't get a permanent dog right now but would like to help out, 
take a dog for a couple weeks, that would be great. Oh, that's to help tough them to out. give up your little dog. Yeah. After you. <laughs> well, of course, a lot of people fall in love with their foster dogs exactly. and adopt, and that's great too. Oh, that's good to occasion. Well, let's show us because we're going to be running out okay. of time here. So, first, uh, what I was going to show today, just to give some people some training tricks, though, is uh, this this dog has not been trained other than to sit. So, I'm going to teach this dog to do down, um, and it's a very important command to keep dogs settled and calm them down. The dogs aren't as settled as uh, compass. Compass <laughs> down, please. So you'll see that on a command, Oops. the dog should be willing to just go down without any hand try, motion whatsoever. Try to, try to move back by the oh, chair sorry. so we can yeah. see everything. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Compass Come on, is so I small, she gets right she out of gets the picture. she gets lost. Yeah, there okay. she is. Compass, let's do it down again. Thank you. Good girl. So that's what a down should be, and it settles the dog. It's a great way to keep them, you know, in the next room quiet or when you're trying to do things. It's a nice way to really settle them. It's also a required command for the canine good citizen test, for therapy dogs and the like. Okay. okay? So what I'm going to do, compass sit. Good girl, you can get up. Okay. No, and then I'm going to give you a compass. compass. You can hold Hi. the fuzzy bundle. You want to sit? Very good. And I'm going to show <laughs> the people at home how to teach a dog down. So first sit is always mandatory. If they don't have strong Ooh, sit, they're not going to have a good down. <laughs> I... The down, the trick with down is you always want to do an L motion. The reason is, is if I come right out here, the dog's going to, well, I've already worked with her a little bit today, and so she's uh, learned. But if, if I do the hand motion usually out too far, the dog's going to get up like that to come get to the food. So what you do instead is sit, you say down like this, put it by their paws and drag it out. I call it an L motion. And that, see, gets the dogs to follow the, the, the cookie. And I see we're still not quite on the monitor here. Come here. That's kind of hard. We're having a little competition. Yes. <laughs> and sissy down. So this is the L motion I'm talking about. The dog will come out. And then your job is to keep doing that less and less with the hand motion until the dog can actually get, as you can see, she's anticipating now. Ready? Down. See, already just plopping now works. I only did the L motion on her last week when I met her and this morning once. That's it. This was the third L motion, and she's already just dropping without the L motion. Down. See? So the dogs will start learning very quickly, and your job is to get rid of that hand motion. Just do less and less of it until the dog actually understands your command. Because as I show people at home, I tell the dog to sit. Most dogs will sit. I say down, nothing. But I say hippopotamus and down goes their pet. So you want to make sure that your dog does not go down on a hand motion, but rather goes down with your voice control. If, if I say hippopotamus to compass, if I say hippopotamus, she just looks at me like, what the heck is hippopotamus? Mm -hmm. You know, because she knows it's not a verbal command that I give her. So your job at home with your dog is once you teach him down, get rid of that hand motion for all your commands and just make sure the dog really understands you and can listen to you and focus on your voice and okay. understand commands. Okay, well, I think compass needs a treat. She's looking at me yeah. like, you know. <laughs> one of her favorite cookies. So, there, there you go, go there baby. you go, Compass. Thank you for being a good soldier <laughs> and sitting on my lap. So we're looking at uh, Grateful, uh, grateful yeah, Dog Rescue. Yeah, this is Grateful Dog, Dog Rescue. They okay. can use uh, donations, obviously. They're a complete nonprofit run all by volunteers. So they can use your money and they can also use some help with foster homes. And of course, if you're looking for a dog, check them out. And here we have from Beverly Ulbricht, the Pooch Coach. You can catch her there at poochcoach.com. And here's a phone number, 415-643-3333. That's easy to remember, isn't it, Compass? Yes. <laughs> She's looking at me like, you know, she likes me. <laughs> Thanks, Beverly. Good to okay. see you. Bye, Compass. Good to see you. Time now to check in with Elaine McKay. She has another look at your weather forecast.